everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, last time we, we were able to talk about what happens when kids go back to school and how that affects the real estate market. It absolutely does every time. Anytime there's a change, kids going back to school, kids getting out of school, something like that, people see different needs with their houses. So the house right. is too big, the house is too small, they want a pool, they don't want to deal with a pool anymore, they want a smaller yard. All that stuff comes into focus when all that happens. So you've had a whole different group of people kind of, of coming up right now wanting to view houses, wanting to list houses, but that's given us a whole lot more opportunities as far as the local market. Absolutely, and we have a lot of brand new opportunities that we're going to talk about today. All right, we're doing everything from, from sales to, to even the open house. There's an open house scheduled soon. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started now. Uh, and let's, this, this first one is right on the Lawrence County line. So we were thinking Johnson, but it's so close. It's actually inside Lawrence County. It is. It's inside Lawrence County, and this is in the area of Ulysses, so mm -hmm. which is off Lost Creek Road at Ulysses. And this is one of those properties you're going to be looking at the pictures. I don't think the pictures are really going to be able to tell you the whole story. When we start talking about this one, there is so much here. <laughs> that we could do an entire show on this one listing, um, and this is something, me being the outdoorsy person that I am, that I'm like, I wish I had the money. Because first of all, you're looking at 200 plus acres. Mm -hmm. That in itself is great, but then you start looking, it's got four cabins on this property and a single wide trailer, not to mention uh, a couple other outdoor structures that you know, it's screaming hunting lodge or, or all of these other things to me. Absolutely. This could be a great investment, a great income producing property. And this is in a beautiful area. So if you're not familiar with when you get into northern Johnson County, it goes into Lawrence County. The topography changes. Even though it's eastern Kentucky, the mountains aren't as steep as let's say they are in Letcher County or southern Pike County when you get near the breaks. This is more of what you would expect closer to central Kentucky when that starts changing. Absolutely. It's a lot more rolling hill, um, a lot more usable. So you have a lot of the four-wheeler paths, great mm -hmm. hunting property. And then I've seen lodges or retreats or whatever you want to call them that'll offer a weekend package where you can do the four-wheeling, you can do the fishing, you can do the hunting, and then you've got your own lodging. I mean, for anybody that's looking, that's an entrepreneur and thinking, you know, I want to branch out into something new. I mean, this, this is limitless. You see people that are looking for places to have family reunions, or mm -hmm. they're looking for places to have weddings and retreats, and we really don't have a lot of options in this area. So this could be something somebody could take and really turn around and make into almost a tourist attraction. Absolutely. They really could, and again, in a great location, in a great area with a lot of usable land. So it's something that if you're interested in that area, definitely take a look at this one. Right, seven buildings in all on this. Like we said, mm -hmm. four of those are cabins, 200 plus acres. The price, $325,000. So I guess a lot of people were expecting way up there, um, higher than that as far as the price. But uh, hopefully that's gonna be something that'll move quickly. Um, and I know you guys hope that too, but $325,000 <laughs> for that one, 109. 041. Now this one is out of the Paintsville office and it's got a couple realtors going to be new names for us. Yes, you've got Jeremy Duncan and Cliff Bennett are both working on this. So you can call, ask for either one of them mm -hmm. and you can just call the Paintsville office. That number is 606-789-8119. Okay. Now moving along, now we're going to go from their listing to one of Cindy Legg's listing mm -hmm. also out of the Paintsville office. Yes, this property, if you're familiar with Old 23 going through Johnson County, this is going to be on 321. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're familiar with that area, you're not quite to Starfire Hill yet if you're coming from Floyd County. You're going to turn left right ac around the Phelps Funeral Home, right in that area in that straight strip. Mm -hmm. But it's got almost 3,400 square feet in this property. And that is a lot. And then you're, you would expect what we're going to say next when you say 3,400 square feet. It's got five bedrooms, mm -hmm. two and a half baths. So it's got tons of, of space for a large family. It does. And this is one, it comes with all those extra amenities. So you've got the hardwood throughout with tile in the, in the bathrooms and mm -hmm. utility room. And then the great thing about where this is located is you have privacy. You're very convenient. You're right off 321, less than three tenths of a mile, but very secluded yard. And it's got 
a one and a half acre, so a very large secluded yard. Right, so it's got, you know, like we have talked about, anything you want to do outside, whether mm -hmm. it's the trampoline or the gardening space or a swimming pool, you have the room for that. And then you're talking about convenience. I mean, Paintsville is right there, but mm -hmm. so is Prestonsburg. And this is one, like we said, you really can't beat that amount of space. And when you talk about the price, which I know was on the screen already, mm -hmm. but that price for that much square footage is going to be a great deal for somebody. Yeah, and let's go ahead and say that. It's $275,000 uh, for this home that's 3,400 square feet with five bedrooms and then huge yard space. So I think this is going to be one of those where the, the pictures just don't do it justice. You really need to see this home. Absolutely. And when you want to see it, make sure you contact Cindy Legg. You can contact her in the Paintsville office, which I already gave, mm -hmm. or you can email her. And her email is cleg at rbnw.com. Okay. Now moving along to this one. Now this is one we mentioned uh, that's going to have an open house coming up soon. But this is Kathy Brown's listing, but the home is actually in Prestonsburg. It is. It's in Prestonsburg. And again, if you are familiar with 1428, which is North Lake Drive going through Prestonsburg, mm -hmm. um, that old Giovanni's location it's where uh, Save a Lot is and all that right there. City Hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. you're, before you get to City Hall, you're actually going to turn left on to Highland Avenue, which turns into Trimble Branch. This property right. is about a half mile up Trimble Branch. Turn on a downtown Prestonsburg Street, mm -hmm. you go about two blocks and it's like you're no longer in downtown Prestonsburg. You, you go out to a neighborhood almost and that's mm -hmm. where this one's located. There's even a park right there. Yeah. So it's, it's a great location. And it's good for kids too because you can get out, you can walk, mm -hmm. I mean you can access everything that downtown Prestonsburg has to offer, you know, from without getting in a car. Exactly. But yet when you get back home, you feel like you've left the city. Yes. So, I mean, this one is just a super location for that. It really is. And this is one, this is an older house, but again, like we talked about with the last one, a really nice size house. This has 1,700 square feet above grade. Mm -hmm. And then it also has a below grade area that is over 1,000 square feet. And then the extra space on that below grade is actually a two car garage. It does have the nice spacious rooms. It's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room, family room, dining room. So it's got all that family space. If you're one that likes to have, you know, the big Christmases or anything like that, this mm -hmm. house has the perfect space for it. And, and let's just go ahead and mention, I mean, we're into September now. <laughs> um, and I don't know where this year has gone, but Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So you've got time to get into this one, get everything done, and get it closed before the holidays. Absolutely. But you have to move quickly. <laughs> Very. <laughs> the price on this one is 170000 Again, this was the one on Trimble Branch in Prestonsburg. Uh, so, Jennifer, let's give a, a phone number and, and some contact information on this one. Okay. The phone number is going to be 606- 789-8119 and like we mentioned this is the one that has an open house on it so that information is on the screen please make sure you stop by and see Kathy at the open house All right and that is on September the 9th so that is one of those you don't have to make an appointment nope. for if you're looking at this one and you're like well I want to see it but you're not enough to make an appointment but you're gonna be out that day swing by it's gonna be open Kathy will be there she'll be able to answer any questions that you have and I will share a little bit of a secret she loves bringing refreshments and snacks to her uh -oh. open house so just saying <laughs> so she's gonna make you feel at home at this house because I guess she wants it to be your home exactly there you go <laughs> All right, now moving on now this is one of your listings it's in Johnson County but you are working this one out of the Pikeville office I am and the reason being this is one and when I talk about the location it's really it is Johnson County but it couldn't be less where it is and it's it's kind of <laughs> right on that uh, line but this is one you actually are going to take Route 3 out of Prestonsburg okay. like you're going towards Inez. Right. You actually go into Johnson County for a little bit right there and this is going to be in that neighborhood of Stony Brook. Right this is that area where you're like am I in Martin County? Am I in Floyd County? Am I in Johnson <laughs> County? You're technically in Johnson County but this is a really popular neighborhood in the past few years that has really exploded with its popularity. Yes it really has and this type of house is the reason why. The great thing, the first thing I want to point out that people are seeing in the pictures, mm -hmm. this actually sits on a really nice size lot. You have, they actually purchased the lot the house sits on plus part of a side lot. Oh wow. So you have almost a lot and a half and you can see one of the pictures scrolling I actually show that big side yard. So that's one of the things if you're familiar with the neighborhood this is a mm -hmm. big deal. 
And then, of course, you've got the house. Uh, the house is not very old. It was built in 2010. And oh, wow. it's got just over 2,100 square feet, a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. The great thing about this one is this is very family oriented in its setup. So you have a huge living room area that's open to the kitchen, mm -hmm. great for kids or anything like that. And then all the bedrooms, including the master with the private bathroom, are all upstairs. And I just love the look at the front of the house because you've got the porch and you've got the columns and mm -hmm. the two car garage. I mean, it just screams just family. So give you a call, they can schedule the appointment to come and see you, and then you all can meet and ride up there together. Absolutely. Just give me a call in the Pikeville office, that number is 606-437-2333. And again, the price on that one, 215000 so mm -hmm. perfect as far as actually low on the end to think everything you're getting for that home. Now let's wrap up with something we've not talked about during this show until now, and that is an auction. Now this is a reserve auction. This is a reserve auction that we've got coming up, and it's actually in the Wittonsville area of Johnson County. Mm -hmm. Now just to remind everybody that reserve auction means that the seller has put a minimum reserve on it. So you won't know the reserve, but that reserve does have to be met with an offer that day in order for the property to sell. Now we'll go ahead and tell you this property is in Johnson County but it's 350 acres. So as we talked about, this is that same kind of area we, we mentioned in the last listing with the property, a little bit different layout than here in the mountainous region. So there's so much more in that part of the country in Johnson County that you can do with property that you can't do necessarily in Pike. Exactly, and then the important thing to note on this is it has direct US 23 access. So not only do you have 350 acres, but you have 350 acres that could possibly go with a partial commercial mm -hmm. interest. You could have some residential. This really has a lot of uses for any need. Right, any property that comes right up against US 23, you're going to automatically know that is prime property. Mm -hmm. But when you also say you've got this and the 300 acres behind it, uh, that is something you don't find very often. So I'm going to guess this is probably a rare find. It is, and it's got over 1,500 feet of US 23 road frontage. So it, again, it's something that people really need to see. When we do the, uh, these auctions, we always set up viewing before the auction actually starts. So the way this will work is on September 9th from 9 to 11, mm -hmm. you can actually walk around the property, you can talk to the agents on site, get an idea of property lines, all that kind of stuff, and then the auction will actually start promptly at 11. Okay, so do they need to pre-register or they can show up that morning? They can show up that morning to register, but you do have to be registered in order to bid. So you can't show up at 5 till 11 and expect to be able to bid on that. Yeah. So come early. But if you have any questions at all, I guarantee they can call any of your offices about absolutely. an auction. They can answer any questions before September 9th even gets here. Yes, absolutely. And the, the only thing that we remind people is you can do financing. You can mm -hmm. uh, pay cash. It's the same as a regular sale. The one thing that they do require is they do require a 10% down on the day of auction. Okay. So that everything that we have just talked about, I guarantee has a lot of wheels turning. Everything from the houses that are for sale to the huge expanse of property that we've talked about today to the auction. And then don't forget that there is that open house on September 9th. But mm -hmm. all of this information can be found on your website. Yes, it can very easily. And that's rbnw.com. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop just a second and step out because it's time for Jennifer to do her real estate minute. Real estate in Eastern Kentucky is constantly changing, as is any market. Certain areas in Eastern Kentucky have seen a large reduction in activity, while others are remaining very active and even growing. Rare Brown and Williams recommends that you contact a qualified and licensed realtor to get information on your particular market and for your specific property. When listing or buying a property, it is important to work with an agent that understands the market and that can assist you, the client, to understand the market as well. The agents of Rare Brown & Williams would be honored to assist you with buying or selling property in Eastern Kentucky. Please call one of our four local offices for information.